Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and I am here to do my November wood box for you. I've got a Halloween warmer that was on back order that I've been dying to get and show you. So my ghoulish friend and I will be right back to do a quick unboxing for you. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am always super excited to see you join me tonight and to my subscribers, thank you so much for returning and watching. It means more to me than you'll ever know. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there, tap that notification bell. I would love to have you come back and join us. And as always, comments are always welcome. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. And anyway, just want to get into my Scentsy Whip Box. But before I do that, I want to show you that warmer that I've been waiting for so that I can uh, put my Halloween decorations away. Because last year I got something at the end of the season that was on that went on sale, and I put my decorations away, and that was not in there. So I have no idea where it is. It could be with my Christmas decorations. It could be anywhere. But anyway, so that's why I've been waiting to put that away. But this is the warmer that uh, I've been waiting for and this is Jack Skellington from the Nightmare Before Christmas and he actually I think he sold out within the first 15 to 20 minutes that they had it posted that you could order online and um, since he did hold it open I think maybe for another hour or two so that if you placed your order within the next two hours they did put it on back order and those have been shipping out I think since the middle of the month I got mine last week and I have just been waiting for a chance to sit down and share it. So let me go in a little closer so you can see the details. So it kind of looks like a black rod iron here up on the top with some bats and that picket fence. And then we got that scary jack-o-lantern and we got his uh, Jack Skellington's his, uh, skeleton hands right there holding it. And Jack Skellington, I just think this is super adorable and cute for Halloween. And then even the uh, bowl that you put the uh, wax in is decorated with the Pumpkin King. So loving that. So let me shut that up and hopefully I don't knock it over. And now we will do our whip box. So for the whip box, if you're not familiar with the whip box, um, they come out with this every month. I happen to get mine as part of a subscription, which you can, do, if you do as a subscription, you can get every month, every two months, or every three months, or you can just buy it um, outright as a one-time purchase, or at any time that you feel like buying it, you can just go on my daughter Raina's website and order it as part of the party, or just as something that you want to order. If you do it by itself, it's $30, and I believe it's $5 to ship it. And I get mine as part of my Scentsy Club, so it's the $30, and then as, as long as I order $20 more, I get free shipping. So inside the box, and they did change the size of the box this month, so it is a little bit smaller, and this month is wicked heavy. So anyway, it was sent with love. They always come with a little booklet right here. So this looks like a holiday place setting. We got some little Christmas decorations around it. The back usually tells you maybe a little bit about what's in the box. The inside is usually a little do-it-yourself thing. Let me look at it. Oh, okay. I thought it was place cards. I mean, uh, name tags for Christmas presents. But then I saw that fold there and I'm like, what the heck? So these are to make your own table place cards to put people, people's names on it. So if that's something you like to do. Or if you're not having a party, maybe your kids just want to do this and... Uh, put names on it so they know where to sit every night alrighty so the box I'm probably going to knock everything over because it is heavy comes with this uh, purple tissue paper they all come with that same purple tissue paper little airbag and the inside of the box alrighty so let's try to do this Got a little TV tray here, but let me try to move it a little closer without moving too much around. So first we have um, some hand soap. I love the hand soaps. Um, I'm not going to open this one. I haven't smelt this one before. This is cranberry and tinsel. 
so I'm assuming that it probably smells a little bit maybe like a Christmas tree and some cranberry but the hand soaps are just very very moisturizing you only need like one one pump wash your hands and you're good to go I take those to the uh, ladies room at work and use them there okay so we've got three of the wax bars so we've got uh, cranberry garland and this is an older one I thought I've used this last year this one is very very strong very merry cranberry so this is a new one for me and huckleberry wreath and that is also a new one for me and if you are not familiar with Scentsy the wax bars is eight cubes in here and you are just going to bend it every which way you can to just separate them and they just have that little bit right there that you need to break you are going to open it up pop out one that you broke and pop it in your warmer and there you go I just had to do that because because Raina and Felicity like to see that part that the one that I poke out first somehow that's a no-no in the uh, Scentsy world but anyway it's it's strange because usually the full one of these full-size wax bars and these are like six dollars each you get the scent of the month so the scent of the month for November is the snow kissed cranberry I'm assuming because my Scentsy uh, whip box comes with my Scentsy club towards the middle of the month they maybe ran out of that sense of, of the month maybe a lot of people purchased it this this month so they probably separated I mean separated substituted one of these but the huckleberry wreath and this is a new one for me so I smell the sweetness of the huckleberry but I also smell something earthy and green maybe it's maybe it's a pine tree but it is a fresh fresh scent it is sweet I think I'm going to love doing this one the cranberry garland I know this is a, is a strong one I've used this before and I've got this big open room and I'm going to say well I'm not counting these because they're, they're not always here but I have at least eight warmers in this area and I could not and I used half a cube in each one last time last last year and it was just still overpowering this is a really strong scent if you like the strong scents um, it'll it'll work they do last long but I only needed to use four four of my warmers that I had on so that was equivalent to two cubes was enough to to help add fragrance for this whole area so this is a very strong one so this one is cranberry and um, and like evergreen trees just a very strong pine scent in this along with the cranberry the very merry cranberry this is a new one for me I smell the cranberries right away I do smell something earthy but um, I'm thinking cedar um, like cedar chips or the cedar tree but I just still smell the cranberry but this one is definitely not as strong as the cranberry garland so this one would be a nice one if you don't like the strong scents and next we have two of the sample wax bars these are and they're both the same which is strange which is candied cranberry pecan because usually one of these is the scent of the month for the next month so one of these should have been the uh, pretty in plaid which is going to be the December fragrance of the month but again because my uh, whip box is with my club and they probably sold out and substituted so I haven't smelled this one before so let's check this one out oh I like this so again I smell the cranberries but it's not as strong as say the uh, cranberry garland I smell pecans obviously um, I think I smell brandy or brandied maybe brandied pecans and some sugar it's just it's sweet but I think I'm gonna like this and because I have two of the same ones and these are like between two and three of the the individual wax cubes here so this will be enough to do this whole room if I wanted to use these all at once so going to like having that and got Scentsy liquid the uh, laundry liquid and the fabric softener and again these are like a one time use 
to use them both in clothesline and um, I happened to buy the full sizes of the clothesline if not last month the month before that I've been using and I love this scent it's a uh, obviously you got like that fresh linen scents scent but uh, some, maybe some crisp greens orange blossoms and some creamy violet it's just a really really fresh fun fragrance I love uh, getting into bed with my sheets um, after I've washed and dried them and I, I just look forward to getting in and just smelling this and having that fragrance just kind of lull me to sleep and the heavy item in this box is this winterberry apple tea scentsy soak and I believe I had uh, wax bars uh, last winter um, they came out with this fragrance last winter and it is uh, cranberries and apples and honey um, I think this is a limited edition that they probably bought out for winter so if you like that scent you should probably get it before it sells out and if you haven't used the Scentsy Soaks I think this is a like $12 value you get quite a few baths out of this um, love their bath products this is like Himalayan salt and some Epsom salt you've got premium moisturizers in here and of course uh, Scentsy exclusive fragrances just love the moisturizing effects and just love just soaking in a bath. So that, I believe, is everything that is in my Scentsy box this month. And of course, I shut the uh, light off, but um, my Jack Skeleton Warmer. So I, Skeleton Warmer, I'm really excited to have this. And I think I'm more excited to put this away so that I can start uh, with my Nutcrackers. Because that's going to take me a few weeks. It, I'm glad I only have 50, which is kind of like a standing joke that my husband and I had that I only had 50 nutcrackers, but uh, it takes me a while to uh, get them all up here. So I'm looking forward to getting that done and sharing it with you. I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic weekend. This is uh, Sunday night, so it's uh, Sunday before Thanksgiving week. If you are traveling, safe travels, everyone. Hope you have a great time with your family and friends. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And we will chat again soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.